Hey guys, uh, thanks for subscribing to my channel, Live Free. Uh, this is an update on my video. Uh, just doing a night video so you can see what it looks like from the inside. So let's go ahead and just get started. I'll open the door. So you can see how much the light actually blocks out. So it's completely dark. I designed it so it looks like a work vein on the outside, but when you open the door, it looks like home. So let's step up inside. And close the door and give you a tour. So some of you guys asked me why I put my lights on the walls. Um, that's for a couple of reasons. I like to be able to work on anything from the inside if there's a problem. And I didn't want to have to rip out the ceiling to work on something. So from the beginning, uh, from the front, that's my divider. Um, it's actually dual layers so the top up there with green is a piece of plywood with fabric wrapped around it as a divider and the first forward portion is just held on by these magnetic clips you can take it and it just pops open so during the day I can put the green curtain over and I get light through and then at night these are the eclipse curtains that block out all the light so that's the front cab it's a standard Ford 27 Transit 250 I didn't change anything I wanted to keep it factory just in case they said I voided the warranty or anything, which I didn't. So I'll close these back up. So again, the purpose of the two blackout curtains plus the green is to minimize as much daylight as possible. So going right behind the curtain so of course the sliding door and then these are called sconches the idea is it directs light up and down instead of going forward uh, so you can see let's turn it off and then turn it back on and the light is redirected instead of going forward uh, so this is my control panel so I have my fan it's max air I can turn that off and each one of these are lights. So turn back at the lights on. And turn the fan on. You can see the fans right here. And this is the reversible. So it will either suck in air or blow out air depending on what you want to do and it has these speed controls and the adjustment to where you can lift it or raise it or lower it I put a smoke detector and carbon monoxide detector in here which is first alert so these are actually little organizers to where I can hang keys or whatever else on it that I want or I can put little keys in here however I want to organize it I got a shoe organizer which there's three different sets on the way down that's for so if I step up in here uh, and my shoes are dirty I can clean them off and then I can stem them in here um, 
just so I don't keep tracking in mud and everything. And with mud, uh, here's a broom attachment. Uh, it's just got a little support. You can get this on Amazon. It's a dollar ninety-eight, I believe. And it just pulls out and pushes right back in. And of course, every camper van needs a fire extinguisher. So coming over to the sink, I decided to do a raised porcelain. Uh, this is a vacuum. Uh, the design of it was, uh, instead of going down inside, I wanted up for a basin. Um, and I like the idea of it's raised instead of lowered. So I just have a manual pump here. So all I'll do is just pull on it gets the air out of the system and once the air is out of the system it just flows in as much as you want so you can see here the water is filled in and this is just a manual pop so where that went to you go under my sink So I have these, they're called Aquatainers, they're BPA free. Uh, this one is the gray water, and the one behind it is the potable water, uh, or drinking water, whatever you want. I just have a hose going down into this one, and this has a quick disconnect. So you can see the plumbing, how it goes up underneath the sink. And this took some invention to get it to work. Uh, so quick disconnect. Just trying to figure out the best way to do this. And went to a hardware store. And all this is is just a spin cap. You just pick it up and it's disconnected. It's easy enough. It's got a washer on the, or, or o ring on the top, not a washer. And then when you're ready, you just start it back down on there. So under here as well I have Febreze. Uh, this is a gas Coleman grill top. I uh, have other cleaners as well. I have a folding ironing board. And then behind that I have the dual Big Buddy space heater. Uh, that runs on uh, the one pound propane or the 20 pound propane if I use the large um, regulator back there. So the water system, I wanted it pretty functional but easy. Uh, didn't want to have to worry about gray water tanks or anything else like that. So uh, You can see this is looking towards the back of the van. So I have my closet here, I have my, what's going to be my batteries under there in my battery bank. Right now I'm running 12 volt over um, from 110, that's a 110 to 12 volt reducer, and I'm just running it in to my fuse panel that's under here. So underneath the countertop is my refrigerator and air conditioner and I want to give a big shout out to my dad who helped me with the 110 system uh, I could do the 12 volt but the 110 kind of scared me a little bit so uh, without him I wouldn't have an air conditioner in here so um, to look at the air conditioner and how I put everything in it's a Honeywell 10,000 BTU portable um, I, you can look at that video and it's attached elsewhere so uh, or underneath this video so you can look today and I have it set at 70 and it's maintaining that pretty easily inside this insulated uh, van so you can see I have 110 receptacle there I have one on the back next to my TV and then one on the other side of this one um, 